It was a chilly Halloween evening, and I found myself wandering the desolate streets of a small forgotten town. My footsteps echoed in the silence, punctuated only by the eerie rustling of leaves in the chilling breeze. The moon hung low, casting long, sinister shadows that seemed to reach out for me. As I walked, an ominous mist crept in, obscuring my vision. I felt a growing unease, an inexplicable sense that something was terribly wrong. It was then that I stumbled upon an old, dilapidated house, its windows shattered, and ivy creeping up the walls like bony fingers. I knew I shouldn't enter, but a morbid curiosity overcame me. Inside, the air was thick with a musty, oppressive presence, and the dim light from the moon revealed the decaying remnants of what must have once been a welcoming family home. In the center of the room, a grand piano stood, its keys coated in a thick layer of dust. The faint strains of a haunting melody seemed to emanate from the piano, though no one was there to play it. The tune was sorrowful, a mournful lament that sent shivers down my spine. I inched closer to the piano, my breath shaky as I noticed an old photograph on the dusty keys. The photograph depicted a family, their faces twisted in agony, their eyes hollow and empty. I recognized the faces from the town's history, a family that had mysteriously vanished on Halloween night decades ago. I stumbled back, a sudden realization washing over me. I wasn't alone in this house. The specters of the long-lost family were here, trapped in a never-ending nightmare. As the music intensified, the walls of the house seemed to close in on me, and the faces in the photograph contorted in anguish. Their spectral hands reached out for me, and I knew that I, too, would become a part of their terrifying tale. The chilling music crescendoed, and the world around me dissolved into darkness as I screamed, my voice merging with the mournful notes 